Hello students. This presentation on kitchen stewarding is done for the final year food and beverage specialization students by Mrs. Ashwini Talaulika, Faculty Dr. D. Y. Patil IHMCT, Pune. Contents covered in this presentation are Kitchen stewarding layout and design Importance of kitchen stewarding Using and operating machines An exercise physical inventory Kitchen stewarding layout and design While designing the wash-up area a number of considerations must be kept in mind. 1. It must be so designed so that the work must be carried out easily without impeding anyone's movement while the wash-up is in operation. 2. It should be done with minimum legwork, without causing any fatigue among the workmen. 3. There should be enough equipments and adequate supporting infrastructure matching with the volume of soiled articles generated at various pos, point of sale. Requirements for the layout of kitchen stewarding department. 1. The wash-up must be spacious and well ventilated befitting the volume of soiled plates and dishes generated from the POS. And the type of operation carried out by the dishwashing section, manually or mechanized. Again, the area should not be too large, which would result in scattered layout resulting in unnecessary strides for the personnel, which apart from consuming both time and energy would also result in incurring loss for the establishment, arising out of unnecessary occupation of space. Average dish washing area would be around one four eighth of the area of the restaurant. 2. The washup area must be located as near as possible to the P.O.S. 3. There must be a demarked door for entry and exit. 4. Since the wash-up area is a meeting place of two categories of personnel the dishwashing staff considered as the deliverer of the services and the servers, the receivers of the services. Therefore, the wash-up area should be so designed, so that there is a demarked area for the movement of the two categories of staff with area for movement of the deliverers and area of movement of the receivers and it is necessary to set the staff of the individual sections receivers and the deliverers moving in a definite direction. 5. There should be ample of trolleys, large washing sinks dishwashers. Kitchen stewarding department functions include 1. It oversees the cleanliness of those areas of the hotel that are not covered by the housekeeping department, mainly back of house areas such as kitchen, cafeteria, corridors, receiving and store areas and administrative offices located in the back of house etc. 2. Generally, this team of persons is the main support to the food and beverage department both kitchen and service. 3. The kitchen is the only area in the hotel which is restricted to the housekeeping department for maintaining its cleanliness. The kitchen stewards become the backbone of the operation and are constantly engaged in cleaning the kitchen floors and washing the utensils and supplies them to the cooks to maintain smooth operation. For not only are the utensils used by the kitchen washed by the kitchen stewards, but also the tableware used in the restaurant. They also buff and polish the silverware in the dish washing area too. Importance of kitchen stewarding. It performs the following functions. 1. Washing kitchen pots and pans that is scullery or pot wash. 2. Maintaining kitchen equipment. 3. Cleaning all kitchen equipment and ensuring hygiene. 4. Washing all service equipment. 5. Polishing silverware. 6. Sending damaged silverware for plating. 7. Garbage disposal. 8. Pest control. 9. Carrying or transporting heavy articles. 10. Indenting for new crockery. 11. Gas connections and upkeep of tandoor. 
12 maintaining ppm parts per million levels for sanitizing knives and chopping board 13 replenishment of service wear to various service outlets using and operating machines the two main areas where the machines are used and operated are 1 silver room and plate room 2 wash up area the silver and the plate room is the store room for all the clean earthenware and metal tableware in small hotel this room is combined with the wash up they maintain an adequate stock of all the tableware earthenware and glassware for service together with a slight surplus stock to handle emergency situations. The room is equipped with cupboards and shelves. The inventory of all the articles is regularly taken and tallied with the book stock. The shelves and the cupboards are so designed so as the larger silver items like platters and entry dishes are stored on the shelves while Earthenware articles are stored in the cupboard. While stacking the heavier items should go at the lower shelves while the lighter items are stored higher up. Smaller items such as ashtrays, menu card holders, table numbers, cruet set, butter dishes are best stored in drawers lined with green base. Wash up area. Procedure for washing kitchen utensils and equipment. Kitchen utensils can be manually or machine washed in the pot wash following the same principles of wash, rinse and sanitize. It is advisable to use a three sink system. The utensils and chopping boards are to be dipped in chlorine solution of 100 ppm parts per million before being reused. The procedure involves one scrape and pre-rinse to keep the washing water clean for a longer time. Two wash with detergent in preferably hot water. Three rinse in hot water to remove detergent to avoid chemical poisoning. Four sanitize in warm water using chlorine or directly in steam or hot air. Five drip dry. Wash up area. The wash up is carried out mainly in two methods. One manual washing method the first method is known as three sink washing method the first sink contains a hot water and soap solution and the second sink contains hot water to rinse and the third sink contains tepid warm water with a sanitized solution the stacked and grouped dirties come in their groups to the first sink and here they are manually scrubbed with the hot water solution after which they are passed to the second sink where they are rinsed and ultimately to the third sink with tepid water where they are sanitized. The equipments can also be sterilized by hot steam and then wiped and sent to the plate room and silver room accordingly. 2. Machine Washing Method the second method is washing by dish washing machine. The machine itself is very expensive and should be maintained and operated strictly as per the instructions given in the manual. The plates and other earthenware are stacked and put in a wired basket. And the glass wears in a separate similar basket to avoid breakage. The machine is aided by a conveyor belt running through it. The baskets are loaded on the conveyor that takes them to the inner part where they are sprayed with soap solution. And then rinsed. And depending upon the type of machine the articles can even be sterilized and dried as they come out from the other end of the machine. Machines used for cleaning and polishing. 1. Dishwashers. Most commercial and welfare catering sectors use washing machines to wash service equipment. These machines save labor, time and ensure sterilized service equipment. Dish washing machines available are of different efficiencies, sizes, cost, need and budget. There are three types of dishwashers on the basis of the use. 1. Glass washers. Primarily used in bars for there is a frequent use of the glassware. And the same glass cannot be used to serve cocktails every time the guest asks for a repeat. 
The process of dish washing would be the hot water rinse soap solution and final hot water rinse wiping. 2. Single rack dishwasher. The racks are used to put in cutlery or line the plates and other crockery. It is a box type machine and has a cover of sorts which can be pulled up or down to stop or start the machine respectively. 3. Conveyor belt type dishwasher. This is the dishwasher used nowadays in all 5 star properties wherein there is a conveyor belt and all the cutlery and crockery is lined in the racks. Dividing curtains highly resistant to chemical agents and heat are present. It is loaded from one end and the process of cleaning is carried out. There are three types of conveyor belt based on their working. A spray type. Dishes are neatly stacked in racks which slide into the machines, where they are sprayed with hot water and detergents at 48 degrees centigrade to 60 degrees centigrade, from above and below. The rack then moves to the sterilization section where the dishes are subjected to a hot water shower of 82 degrees centigrade. Dishes sterilized at this temperature dry quickly when passed out into the air. B brush type, dishes are scrubbed in hot detergent water, 48 to 60 degrees centigrade, with revolving brushes. Then they are rinsed and sterilized in another section of the machine. See agitator water machine, in this method, baskets of dishes are immersed in deep tanks and cleaned by mechanical agitation in hot detergent water. The baskets are given a final hot water rinse for sanitization, 82 degrees centigrade. These machines are usually operated by two people, one for sorting soiled items and to feed the machine and the other to collect the clean wear. 4. Burnishing Machine There is a large drum which is half filled with ball bearings and there is a rod in the center used for putting the handles of the cups and jugs. The cutlery is directly put into the drum. The soap solution is added to avoid friction which could cause scratches. This machine is either attached to a water supply or else water is poured manually. The machine takes around 15 minutes to complete the polishing process. 5. Silver Plating Machines There is a separate room that is used as the silver plating room where machines are used to electroplate the silver articles. Kitchen Stewarding Equipment A. Heavy Duty Equipment Maintaining the heavy duty equipment in the kitchen is a great task which ensures not only making of good and healthy food, but efficient working, including lower consumption of energy as well. Almost all the heavy physical activity is largely mechanized and done with the help of huge machines, and range of chemical agents and cleansers. A list of some heavy-duty equipment that are generally used in a large hotel are 1. Automatic dish washing machine 2. Ice cube machine 3. High pressure spray cleaner 4. Glass cleaning machine 5. Floor Scrubbing Machine 6. Mobile Tray Master 7. Conveyor Belt 8. Auto Lift 9. Mobile Ben Murray 10. Loaders 11. Reject Trolley 12. Warming Cabinet 13. Silver Polishing Machine 14. Dish Landing Table 15. Garbage container. Some useful tips on the use of the above equipment are Temperature of water for washing 40 degree to 100 degree centigrade. To kill bacteria, rinse water is to be heated to 180 degree centigrade. Temperature for sterilization of cutlery, crockery is 170 to 180 degree centigrade. Door type dishwasher can handle 810 to 1875 dishes per hour. A single tank conveyor can handle from 4500 to 5650 dishes per hour.
a double tank conveyor can handle from 8,500 to 12,000 dishes per hour. A flight type dish washer can handle from 6,750 to 34,000 dishes per hour. Most flight units contain pre-wash, power wash, power rinse, and final rinse cycle. pH value of water should be below 10.2. Lightweight equipment used in kitchen stewarding are 1. Brooms 2. Dust pan 3. Mop 4. Wiper 5. Brush Physical inventory Records maintained in the kitchen stewarding department. The different registers and records maintained in this department are 1. Logbook to maintain daily information of the department. 2. Duty roster chart to distribute the manpower efficiently and mentioning the off days. 3. FB inventory register to maintain the inventory of all equipment related to food and beverage service. 4. Kitchen equipment register to maintain the inventory of all equipment related to kitchen. 5. Dead stock or scrap register to maintain the inventory of all discarded equipment. 6. Breakage and condemn register to maintain the inventory of all breakages. 7. LPG or fuel consumption register to maintain the consumption of fuel used. 8. Machine report register register where machine operations are recorded. 9. Maintenance Request Register To register the maintenance of all food and beverage equipment. 10. AMC Records Register To maintain the annual maintenance records of all equipment. 11. Requisition Forms These are forms where the department records the procurement from the stores. 12. Pest Control Records or Fumigation Records to make sure that all the areas have been properly fumigated, as per the allocated days mentioned on the notice boards, and the scheduled thereby so prepared. 13. Temperature records. These are in terms of the temperatures to be maintained for the buffet both hot and cold three times a day. Hope you have understood the importance, layout, equipment, their use and operations, and the records maintained in the kitchen stewarding department. Thank you.